Good day viewers, you are welcome. How to solve these nice equations where we are giving root x plus cube root x plus sixth root x equals 14. And we want to find all the solutions in these nice equations. Let's see how we solve this. So from the first step, we write the solution here. By considering the solution, then the next step, suppose I start with by letting, if I let 6th root of x equals, I'm going to choose another letter. If I choose t, where this t is greater than or equals to zero. So t greater than or equals zero. And from sixth root of x, we can deduce the cube root of x from here. So just by raising both sides of this first one by two. And we raise it by two, this one becomes t squared. And for the final one, we are going to have the deduction of this as well. We want to have the square root of x. So by taking the square root of x here, we are going to have this as t raised to the power of 3. So here are the three inputs we are going to substitute back to the original equation. So when we substitute for the first one, which is root x, we are going to write it as t raised to power 3 plus then cube root of x, we write it as t squared plus sixth root of x, we write it as t equals 14. So when we proceed, let's take this 14 if I subtract 14 from both sides, I want to make everything equals 0. So by subtracting 14 from both sides, this cancelled and we have 0 here. Then t raised to power 3 plus t raised to power 2 plus t minus 14 equals 0. After having this, let's break 14 down. Whenever we have 14 here, for the minus 14 is the same thing as minus 8 minus 4 minus 2. So we come back here and replace everything. But before I replace, Let's try and be combining t raised to power 3 with minus 8. As here we have t power of 3 minus 8. We are going to group this plus also t raised to power of 2, we group it with minus 4. Plus the last one which is t then minus 2 equals 0. So because what we have before was 14, then we have distributed it into all of this. Here we have three cases here. Let's consider the first one. 3 raised to power 3 minus 8. This 8 is the same thing as when we have it as 2 power of 3. And also, we have 3 raised to power of t raised to power 2 minus, this is the same thing as when we have 2 raised to power of 2, and this also equal to, while for the last one, it is only t minus 2. This is also equal to, so for t raised to power 3 minus 2 raised to power of 3, when we consider this, is the same thing as t minus 2 multiplied by t squared plus 2t plus 4 and also t raised to power 2 minus 2 raised to power of 2 this is the same thing as 
t minus 2 multiplied by t plus 2. While for the last one, we write it as t minus 2 multiplied by 1. And looking at all these cases, they have something in common, which is t minus 2. When I take out t minus 2 from all of them, we are going to have t minus 2 in bracket, open bracket. So by taking out t minus 2, this one remains t squared plus 2t plus 4. Let's write t squared first. And I'm going to combine it with the second one. But the second one is having t here. This is also t. So and t plus t, that gives us plus. So we are going to have plus 3t. And also, we have this as 4. A is 2. And for this one, we have it as 1. And all of them are addition. So 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4, that is plus 7. This in bracket. And everything here equals 0. Then we have two expressions here, t minus 2 and t squared plus 3t plus 7. Consider this, a, b equals to 0. This is product of two variables. This shows that our a here equals to 0 and our b here equals to 0. So we are going to let t minus 2 equals to 0 and the whole of this also equal to 0. When we let t minus 2 equal to 0, then to get t by adding 2 to both sides. Adding 2 to both sides, this and this cancel each other. Then we have t equals 0 plus 2, that is 2. Here is the first value of t. But we have to recall back from when we have when we recall that if you have sixth root of x, this equals t. Then the value of t here is our 2. Let's change this t to 2. We have sixth root x equals 2. By taking the power of 6 of both sides, because here is 6, we have to raise both sides of this equation by 6. But before then, suppose we have x and this is n root. If all of this raised to power of n, this also equals x. So when this root and the power of it is the same, we have only this x here. By letting this one, which is 6 root of x, everything raised to the power of 6 equals 2 raised to the power of 6. Then, according to the rules above, we are going to have x equals 2 raised to the power 6. And 2 raised to the power 6 here equals 64. 64 is the first solution that satisfies this problem. Here is a real solution. And considering the other part of this, we have t raised to the power of 2 plus 3t plus 7. Then we are going to let that one also equal to 0. So by letting that, we have t squared plus 3t plus 7 equals 0. Then by comparing this one with the quadratic equation of a t squared plus b t plus c equals zero. This shows that the coefficient of this t squared is our a, as we are going to have a equals one. Then we have b here equals coefficient of t, which is three. And we have c equals the constant term, which is 7. 
having all this expression, we are going to substitute it into the quadratic equation. The quadratic formula says, since we are dealing with t, we are going to have this at t equals minus b plus or minus the square root b squared minus 4ac divided by 2a. By trying to substitute all this in this formula, we mean all the parameters in this formula, we are going to have t equals minus 3 plus or minus the square root of 3 squared, that is 9, minus, we have 4 times 1, then times 7, that gives us 28, divided by 2 times 1, that is 2. Then in the next step we have, so this is what we have, then we have t equals minus 3 plus or minus, the square root of 9 minus 21, that gives us minus 19 divided by 2. Then, so for square root of minus 19, we have this as plus or minus the square root of minus 1 times square root of 19 divided by 2. But square root of minus 1 is a complex root, it's an imaginary, which is i. Then we have t equals minus 3 plus or minus i square root of 19 divided by 2. So here is the value of t, and which comes in two different dimensions, as minus 3 plus i root 19 and minus 3 minus i root 19. I will now record from x, the sixth root of x equals t. As when we take the power of 6 on both sides, we have x equals t raised to the power of 6. By replacing t here, we therefore have x equals open bracket minus 3 plus or minus i square root of 19 divided by 2 then all raised to the power of 6 so here is what we are going to get we try and expand this based on the power of 6 then we get the other solutions so thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe to this channel share this video and give a thumb up See you in the next class. Never stop learning. Bye-bye.